the Advantage Baits Green Bream. I developed the Green Bream to hold bream and skimmers on the bottom. It was vitally important to me to get the ratio of fish meal absolutely bang on. So that it wasn't too powerful for those hard winter days, but it was powerful enough for those summer days when there's a lot of fish about and you need a lot of holding power in your peg. When you take a closer look at the green bream, you'll notice that there's some different sized particles. The slightly finer particles will make the ground bait slightly sticky. A big, big help when you're putting things like dead maggots, dead pinkies, casters, worms, even micro pellets. It just makes your ground bait slightly sticky. But the bigger particles in there not only create a big bed of bait once it hits the bottom, but also aids and speeds up the breakup time. With the green bream, it starts to work immediately, attracting fish into your peg, creating that carpet of bait to hold the fish for those fish to graze over. Green bream can be used in a multitude of different ways. My favourite is in conjunction with micro pellets and soft pellets on the hook. Also, it lends itself to being used with other baits. It's fully compatible with all the other baits you would want to use. It's just as at home being used on a method feeder for bream or in an open end feeder. It just works, it just holds bream and it is tailor made for that species. The one thing that we have achieved with the Advantage Ranger baits are baits that are very effective but simple to prepare. See I've got some water there. Again with the water, the golden rule is you can't take it out so just go on the back foot to begin with with the water and make sure that you work it in and immediately you can see that you can form a ball. Such a nice smell that pellety fish meal smell it's just gorgeous makes me want to go out there and get fishing now. So you can see there already, if I wanted to, I can make a nice ball. So I'm going to leave this just to absorb the water. I've left the ground bait about 20 minutes and I can feel already it has dried out a little bit. It has absorbed all the water. Again, just add that bit of water. And what you're looking for is that sort of consistency where you can make a ball and just pick it up, but it also breaks up very quick. So I know now that that is about the consistency that I want. Pop that onto the riddle. Just work it through that riddle. It's a nice fluffy ground bait. And you can see as well that there's no real big bits. Everything's nice and clean. It's all gone through the riddle into the bowl. You can see that sort of consistency that's going to create that carpet of bait along the bottom. I know that if I go out there now on the lakes that if I put a few micro pellets in with that and just feed nice sized balls that sort of size three or four of them on each line. It's going to go to the bottom, it's going to break up quick and quickly in my peg I'm going to have that carpet of bait. Just for the effect in the tank I'm going to drop in a typical top up ball. There you go, now immediately you can see that greeny tinge and that's the cloud that's really going to attract fish, draw fish into your peg but not only that it's going to hold fish. But you will notice that there's some slightly bigger particles in there they're heavy, they take on water, they're not going to get pushed and manipulated around into different parts of your peg by feeding fish. They're going to stay there, so again, the whole concept of an attractive ground bait drawing fish into your peg, but then holding them in your peg for longer periods of time. You haven't got as much activity, but you've got that green sort of tingy cloud to it. I've fished in places like Hungary, I've fished in Serbia, I've fished in Ireland, I've fished all over Europe. And the one thing bream and skimmers like is a bit of a hazy cloud. They love it, they come to it, they feel safe, they know it's food, it almost excites them. And that's exactly what we've achieved here, coupled with fish holding products as well in the bait. So pole, feeder, winter, summer, this is the number one ground bait for all my bream and skimmer fishing. Look out for advantage baits in your local Darwin stockings.